Everything is a fight. Everything is a fight. Everything is a fight. No one knows the feeling of love here. Everybody's been being mistreated for so long that love is just unheard of. Every day, just the, the thought of, am I gonna make it back home tonight? Am I gonna make it back home tonight? That's a crazy thought to deal with, right? And just our emotions are just balled up inside of us. We angry, we're angry. And not at anyone in particular, just coming out angry. Since I was 11, I've been getting locked up. I'm 25 now, every year since I was 11. Central Bookings, the worst place I've ever been. It's overpopulated, non-working facilities. You got inmates sleeping over top of each other. There's been people that were protesting Monday that was arrested that still not let go. And it's just a mess, dirty, filthy. Even though they are criminals, they're still people. And we don't need to treat them like animals, but they're caged in like animals down there. Yeah, I really am kind of nervous about going down here, though. Why are you nervous? Because I don't like seeing the building. I hate going down here. True. Well, I just hope everybody comes out. I want everybody to come I so bad. I just don't bad. want it to be a few people. It's got to be a lot of us. Everybody I talk to said they coming. And I'm in what you call the family, Black Gorilla family. And we're all spring of the Black Panthers. You got some people that perceive it as a gang because they don't understand. People fear things they don't understand. So their first thing is to say, all right, they're a gang, they're doing criminal activities. I've been like the sore thumb here. When I was younger, I was more like a nerd. I liked to read Harry Potter, it was my favorite book. And I was picked on when I was younger because I stuck out. It was a little bit smarter than everybody else. So I found myself dumbing myself down to fit in. My last current charges that I've been in for were violations of probation uh, for a charge that I caught in 2014, dealing with my children's mother, uh, second degree assault, I don't mind. I got pled guilty to that. Uh, just to hurry up and get out of jail. Put your hands up! That's what I'm talking about, Already! Already! Yeah. Already! Already! Y'all gonna go home? This is an incredible day uh, for those of us who have been protesting for the last two weeks. Uh, it is a sigh of relief for us, uh, a day of joy and uh, a day of uh, a pleasant surprise. To warmly welcome them uh, as the newest residents there. And they'll be exchanging blue uniforms for orange ones. Uh, and have the greatest sight we've ever seen. Undescribable. Undescribable. I just felt goosebumps everywhere. It's felt good to know that somebody's at least been charged, somebody's at least been held accountable. I think the whole city shared that feeling, the goosebumps. Gotta have justice! It begins with bridging the gap. Bridging the gap with the streets to the regular citizens. Uh, you bridging don't consider the... yourself a regular citizen. Mm -hmm. And it's crazy that I don't. It's crazy that I don't. I don't know why I don't, it's, it is. But I am a citizen here though. I am a citizen here. I am a citizen here and I want to be treated like one. I definitely want to be treated like one. I've always had the feeling that I was meant to be great. You have given new energy to people that people call thugs, that people call gangsters, that you have called them righteous, that you I don't have like to be, seem like my ego is big, but it's just something inside of me that roar. Finally, for once, just being active with this, I just feel whole, almost, almost whole.